Welcome back. Let's get after it. A family in Quebec, Canada pulled over to the side of the road when they saw a moose about to cross the road. And then they also spotted something very strange. So they started recording. As you can see in this video, something white around the tree line is stalking the moose. A lot of people in the comments on this video are saying that it could be a rake. Other people think that it could just be a curious. This honestly looks to me like they've got some smudge on their windshield. You can see when the camera is moving to the left or, or panning to the left, the, the object always moves towards the camera. And when the camera moves to the right, it moves away from the camera. So it's just something on the windshield. I've actually seen one of these before, if it's the same thing. And I think it's called a tarp jellyfish or something. <clears throat> but it's pretty fascinating looking. I wish they'd do a little bit more investment in uh, exploring the oceans instead of, instead of trying to spend all their time trying to explore space. We get a lot of stuff here that we could uh, probably figure out that'd be pretty fascinating. I wanted to throw this short clip in there because I was curious if we have any photographers in here. I've dabbled in photography a little bit myself, and so I'm aware that there are certain lenses, like say you have a 200 millimeter focal length. A lot of the objects in the background are going to appear larger as com in comparison to what you're fil are photographing in the foreground. So is there some lens or something that people could be taking photos with that they're accidentally taking video of people up on top of mountains, working out, doing push-ups, but it makes the perspective skew and makes it appear like they're giant? If you know the answer to that, let me know down in the comments because I think we might have figured this one out. Are you able to see it? Yes, look. That's either a creepy looking tree, yes. a limb or something, or a creepy looking dude hanging out on a tree limb. Either way, if you're out there, just the two of you, you might want to yes. head on out. Look. Let me just interject real quick and say that if you enjoy this content, you can come back tomorrow because I make another video just like this one every single day. Subscribe, and I'll see you here then. I'm curious to know if they've got or what type of bears and stuff they've got in that area because that's what it looks like but those eyes are so wide apart it looks menacing and it's not scared of that coyote you can see it's very large hands see its eyes Clearly as a male, you can see, see right there, that's, this is the front of the Sasquatch. And then you can see it's the back side. You can, you can see it has testicles right there. Its hands are gigantic. You know, com compared to a human's hand, like my hand's not even close. I tell you, that face looks very paper mache. His teeth kind of look like chiclets. <laughs> um, man, this doesn't look real. I want to believe in Bigfoot. This doesn't. Look, this doesn't look real. 
the face looks too paper mache. The eyes look like they've been glossed over or something. Um, almost like if it was a real skeletal remains, it would um, it looks like it's been calcified over the eye sockets, which is, you don't see. Disease, but out of all the diseases, I think you got the best one. I don't believe these guys for a second. They're trying to imply that that tree was knocked over and so they had to drive around it, but you can clearly see that that tree's been knocked over for quite a while because there's a path going around it from the tr that they've created where they've created a trail using the tires on their side by side driving through there so many times. So nothing recently knocked that tree down to try to block their path and track them there. If it had, it's way too far away to try to catch catch them right there in that area because they drove another 30 seconds or so before they saw that thing on film. I think that they knew. I think they got a buddy out there. They filmed this, and then they lied about the tree falling over to try to give it a little bit more weight, a little bit more credit, and all it did to me was take away all the credit. Well, she just woke me up again and uh, said she heard it on the roof, and this time so did I, so... Get out there and have a look. Okay. Get the other side. Oh, damn. Holy shit, all right. Some of bitches went on the other side of the house. Oh. Oh. What the hell? Where'd it go? What is that? What the son of a... What's going on here? Oh my God. I think this is somebody who's fairly good with CGI, maybe dabbling in Blender or whatnot. My best guess, this is some sort of an ARG. The guy's asking for donations to his Patreon and he'll give you more footage. The footage looks too good. He sees the thing peeking over the top of his roof. He runs around. There's a full skeletal remains in the same spot where he just filmed not 30 seconds before where there was nothing. And all of a sudden these flashing lights appear in the sky. Just seems it's all too good to be true. What are your thoughts on this one? Drop a comment.
I was kind of excited to put this video in here because I come across it the other day and I'm sure everyone's seen it by now. I'm sure it's, it's made its rounds around the internet a few times. So I'm sure everyone's got an opinion on it. To me, this is the most realistic looking footage of Bigfoot and it could have been debunked already. I could be sitting here looking like a dumbass, but I think this is the most realistic looking footage I've ever seen of a Bigfoot. If you freeze frame and look at the face, it doesn't look like a Bigfoot. It looks like a, it looks like a human face. Almost, it almost looks like Hagrid from uh, Harry Potter, but I don't know. I don't see how they'd pick those trees up and be smashing them and stuff and unless this is all done in computer. I mean, Unreal Engine's getting pretty crazy, but I don't, I don't think that's how it's being done. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think. All right, y'all. So I had to share this like right now. I couldn't wait till tonight. Um, this was uploaded 11 days ago by Ken Carpentry. He was out looking for a bear and its cubs that he had seen near his property. Flew out his drone, but that's not what he caught on camera. This is like the clearest, the best footage I've ever seen of an actual Sasquatch. Um, if you look up at the top left-hand corner, you'll see it. Just keep watching. I have the entire video. Um, this part I did have to condense down because of the real length itself, but I'm gonna upload the entire freaking video. I am just so, I'm blown out of the way. Look at, there it is. Look at, it's coming out of the woods. I'm just so blown away right now. I'm like, oh my God, you cannot tell me Bigfoot is not real. You just can't. There's too much evidence found in the woods, too many different structures out there that humans can't possibly make, especially the ripped out trees torn upside down. Oh my God, I'm so blown away. My only question is why did he not fly down there and get a better look at it? That makes me think the whole thing is fake. Any reasonable person who thought they were capturing Bigfoot would fly down there and get a closer look, especially when you're not at any harm's way. All you're doing is risking your drone. Yeah, nah. I think this is just something that's supposed to be supposed to uh, something someone made to, to be creepy. I don't know why he's filming this video in the first place, but he's doing it on a potato and it's 2023. Everybody, even if you're using a phone from 10 years ago, the quality was better than that. It just looks like somebody painted up white with some weird clothes on. Standing behind him acting funny. This ghostly footage will blow your mind. A Bangkok Airways pilot sat in his aircraft and filmed what looks like dozens of people exiting a plane. Passengers are seen towing their luggage through a connecting bridge, except this jet bridge was empty. It wasn't connected to a plane leaving viewers completely baffled as to where the ghostly passengers were coming from. The footage is chilling, and hauntingly, the figures appear to be floating, not walking. The pilot posted the video online, and it sparked a debate. Some say this is just an optical illusion. Others believe these figures are ghosts, spirits caught on film. So ghosts or an optical illusion? What do we think? I'm gonna go with optical illusion. For us to go this many years without any definitive, like, this is real ghost footage, and then to suddenly get a video with, like, 30, 40 ghosts on it in one video, doesn't make sense. My best guess is, is that there's something either on the other side of that walkway, where there's people walking on it, or there's something that's somehow transferring a reflection of people from another walkway where they're going. I, that's my best guess. It's got to be some sort of an optical illusion. We've all had tricks of the eye. That looks pretty good. That might be a UFO. Thought at first that one might be something like uh, a plane. You could see where the moon looks like it has a blooming effect. So anything that has a light is going to also have that blooming effect. So at first I was thinking it was just a plane, but I don't, I don't think it would have bloomed out that big. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with unidentified flying object. From the moment my videos exposing the world's first ever seen alien went viral, I have been seeing government vehicles outside my home.
A couple weeks ago, I even saw a man investigating my property. Did he show up to delete the only true evidence that aliens might actually be living among us? Save and share this video in case the government permanently takes it away. I don't know, I've seen these videos right here a lot. I swear, I don't know if it's my eyes. I don't know if it's my eyes or if I've got a light bulb fixing to go out, but I keep seeing a flickering. Um, I'm going to say we all need to keep an eye on this one and uh, make sure this guy doesn't accidentally get unalived. I wanted to put this video in there because I wanted to find out if you guys think this is real. Um, I like the, uh, the Las Vegas video that was out where the, the uh, UFO crashed in the guy's backyard. Um... They called 911, claiming that they were interacting with UFR, interacting with aliens and stuff running around and hiding in between their uh, heavy loaders and stuff like that. Um, to me, that's one of the most believable news stories as far as UFO sightings go. Uh, what do you guys think on this one? Well, that's it for today, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you tomorrow.